trial, trial without undue delay, um, to cross-examine witnesses that have been called against you, all provisions that are standard and with which um, we're familiar with here. Um, victims have rights at the court. Again, a very standard provision now. They take a more proactive role in international cases than we are used to here in our national courts, uh, following very much the continental uh, models of, of justice. And, and of course, the tradition in Lebanon was that its courts were based on the Franco-Ottoman style. Uh, and so you, you go into the Napoleonic inquisitorial courts as being the basis of how their courts uh, procedures are, are run. Um, evidence to be handed over from the independent commission uh, to the special tribunal so that the special tribunal uh, can do its job and uh, an unusual provision uh, that is not present in any of the other systems of, of justice but deriving from this Franco-Ottoman uh, history of the Lebanese courts that the judges question the witnesses first then the prosecution then the defense and that's even with defense witnesses judges question first um, at the International Criminal Court some judges um, have been known to apply that. Um, also, some cases at the Yugoslavia Tribunal. Those judges who come from non-common law backgrounds, to them this is how a case works. Uh, and they find the adversarial model <coughs> very frustrating for them because they, they are used to asking the questions first and then counsel may ask questions uh, afterwards. David Young, after the break, will explain to you the organs of the court and another particular feature, which is trials uh, in absentia. So he'll explain how the court is set up and that there may be trials in absentia specifically passed in relation to this tribunal uh, because of the non-cooperation fear that they've always had that if there are Syrian suspects, Syria will turn its back on the court. And there we are, trials and absentia. Um, the first report for the special court uh, was issued in 2009, 2010. And as yet, as of today's date, no, no one has been charged. And so for five years, millions, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent investigating the assassination of Rafiq Hariri and no one has been charged. Uh, and one wonders about those initial words by the President of the Security Council on the 15th of, of February, day after it happened, and how sure he was then that it was a sponsored act of terrorism, whether the actuality here, uh, and they've had changes of chief prosecutor, uh, is that they haven't been able to come up with anything, or that there is doubt as to who is responsible and who behind it. We are not, as we have been able to see from our history section and our background section, dealing with a, a part of the globe that is straightforward in its politics uh, and in its history. Um, so that's the end of this part of my presentation for you on Lebanon.